Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is by myself today. What am I going to do by myself? Yesterday, well, a couple days ago, we were doing an update of Adelo, the system that does your credit cards and does all this stuff that where you can come up there and open you a bar tab, you can order your food, and you can, well, it, they did an update. We were in a meeting yesterday, as you saw the show, we were driving there, we leave the meeting, they call and go, hey, we can't take credit cards. It's 11.22, people are coming for lunch. Chris goes down there, we go down there, which I can't do nothing about it, and Chris is on the phone with Adelo, we got our computer guy Chris come down, and they basically forgot to tell us you got to uninstall and reinstall. That's all I know, but we ended up giving away about 40 lunches. Now. I was like, man, me and Barry were kind of like, you know what? We just need to, we need to close it down. Just tell people we can't serve them lunch and, you know, they'll understand. And Chris went, you know what? No. He went, if we got to give away food, do we get this fixed? We're going to give away food. So he's up in Dallas today. I think he's meeting with some Adelo people or he may be going to jail for the lunches we gave away. I don't know, I'll know later. But I thought it was a pretty good idea and it got me to thinking. I was like, man, I would have just went, hey guys, our system's not working. Uh, we'd love to you know, be able to do this, but we can't. If you want to pay cash, you can. We just couldn't take credit cards. And I knew it would cause a hassle. I knew something would happen, but it was that's how me and Barry were looking at it. But Christmas, you know what? We ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna turn them away. We're going to do it. And I was like, man, we'll probably get a good review somewhere from that about, hey, the backyard credit card. What they went. We ate that. And I was like, that's a good job. As a, as a owner, that was a good job. Now, it was a decision that he made that won't have any backlash on our customers and maybe none of them will ever say anything about it or not, but I got what he was doing. But I immediately, me and Barry were the first ones to go, man, we don't need to, we'll just, we'll just shut it down and we'll sit here and tell them our computers don't work. What do you do in that situation? What do you do? Because now that I've had time to think about it, I go, dang, Chris, that's like three, four hundred dollars. Maybe more. I don't know. Then I go, after I think about it, and go, man, that might be better than spending money on the newspaper or the radio or the TV or that might be advertising. Somebody might tell them, go, hey, man, that their credit card didn't work and I got a free lunch and they just they just gave me a lunch and said, come back again. That's a fine line. But at the end of the day, we all agreed after it was over, when I had to go back down there, we were all talking, that's the right choice. That's the right call. You made the right call, the right decision to go, you know what? We don't want, we don't, we don't want them upset. We're going to do everything in our power to make it good for you, the customer, whether it's repainting the bathrooms, whether it's remodeling the bathrooms for the women, whether it's taking that fence down in the back and putting up a new fence, whether it's making your signs look good, whether it's raking the leaves off the turf so it'll look nice. At the end of the day, there are people that will come and enjoy just what you have done, and there's people that will come and go, I like it, but, and it happens everywhere, everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. Look, I'm wearing my metal Kyle over at the Phoenix Ballroom metal hat today. I got my Good Morning Chris and Russ shirt that you can order over at Presto Tees. Our sponsor of the day is going to be Alpha Maintenance. Go down there and look at some of the things. The green room bathrooms. The Now look on the stage. Look at that fence they put up yesterday, picket fence that we're going to have uh, backyard put up there. It looks amazing as a new backdrop. Look at the beer garden 
we're giving you more room and, and, and going to make that area over there a little bit more accessible for you to go back there because we have so much room. People forget. They all come out and pile on the grass and pile by the stage and forget the fire pits till it's cold, the pool tables, the bathrooms we're about to start doing back in the back, the beer garden that we're trying to get, the bigger bar over there by the waterfall. I, I sometimes, I sometimes go, when's enough enough? When's enough enough? And if you're a business owner, whether it's Alpha Maintenance, CTIS, Shane and them, Chris at Cryo, K Dub at Prestige, Aaron at uh, uh, Flying B Fabrication, Kyle at the Metalwork, Chris our computer guy, Nathan over at I'm trying to get them all in my head so I won't forget them. Uh, Nathan over at uh, Alan Samuels, ADS, Dave. I think I got all of them. When's enough enough? When do you do that little extra to go, whether it's a wrap, whether it's a little extra on that sign, whether it's a little extra, extra push on that remodel that you know that if you do it, man, it's going to look good. Shane and them explaining, you know, I know you got two cameras, but three is going to really help you here. You know what? We'll take care of that for you. I, that, as a business owner, are you, and this can work for anybody, are you willing to go that extra step to get that to get that bonus, to get that reward, to get that congratulations, to get that? It can be in your household as the as the husband. Am I willing to do the the laundry even though I know she does the laundry on Sundays without even worrying about it, just getting it done? Chris ain't here today, as you can see, but I am going to give him kudos on what he did yesterday. I would have, I probably would have done something different. I'd have been nice about it in the way I handled it. But I think at the end of the day, you got to spend money on advertising. It could have been the best advertising we ever had. Every person in there when they told them, when we were walking by trying to get stuff done and when they told them that to register, they were like, oh, no, you ain't got to do that. I mean, I was, I, if I had cat, well, thank y'all so much. Will you go the extra mile? Will you, will you do the extra things without wanting Man, y'all don't have to do that. Let me pat y'all on the back. Let me pat y'all. Don't pat me on the back. You pat Chris on the back. Don't pat Brian on the back. Don't pat Brazil on the back. You pat Chris on the back. Sometimes you got to go that extra mile to get people to talking about you. Might be better than radio. Might be better than TV. Our sponsor of the day, Alpha Maintenance properties. They do all our stuff down there. We appreciate it. We appreciate all the sponsors, but today it is about those guys and the above and beyond they go on sometimes the little details that we don't ever see or never ask for, or sometimes the little extra money we got to shell out because it's, hey, if you get it fixed now, you won't have to do it later. That little bit that Russell looks out for the backyard, kind of like Chris was looking out for the backyard yesterday, goes a long way. Goes a long way. Have a wonderful day. Sorry it's just me. If you got bored, sorry about that. Shane, I didn't have nobody to argue with. So, but give our sponsors a, a once over. They can do it all. Look at them. Every week we cover it all almost. Fist to add some more, hopefully. It's the first of the month. Now I gotta go collect money from them. That's okay, I can do that. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll be back on Monday. Until Monday, I am Russ. 
That's where Chris stands.